Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kate. If you're new to my channel, I do fashion, beauty, moving vlog recently. If you like this kind of video, just don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any video that I will upload in the future. In the last vlog, if you've watched, we moved to Exeter. Um, well, we're gonna do a little chat and update about that. So uh, I was pretty depressed and stressed out um, in my last vlog and as you can see now I am feeling so 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 much better and the reason why this we are shooting now in our new home so um, we're gonna do a little um, room tour uh, later on and we actually are back in London yeah I know it's a lot of unplanned decisions right over there um, we moved from Pula our aim is to come to London earn money you know it's all about the dinner all about the you know financial size but um, now I came back when I look back to the decision of going to Exeter I knew like I know now that I'm, I'm sorry something is itchy here and it's not going away and look back to that decision that I realized that we were a little bit in a panic that you know when yeah we planned to come back to London for a pretty long time and at the moment that we really came back faced so much crowd so much madness around in London we did feel I think we are kind of like back off we we're trying to escape to a that's crowded city even though we did not have really any information or we didn't do a thorough research two and a half weeks we did quite a lot of things but we achieved nearly nothing so i think that's one of the biggest reason why also um we came back and that is one of the big things that hit me that makes me feel like the need to face the reality i need to face what we planned to do so uh, we were in Exeter for two and a half weeks and in the last vlog I did mention that uh, I was trying to, we were trying to find a apartment or a house to rent. We literally in the beginning we just wanted to rent a room but um, couples are literally not accepted in any spare room in Exeter. So the situation in Exeter and London are really really different. Um, in London you have a lot of supply, but plenty of supply I can say in Exeter is demand is so much higher than the supply we put in two applications in the end one is a two bedroom flat one is a three bedroom split floor flat house canopy we do not need that many rooms honestly but there are not much choices that we can put in our application because we have a limit to budget and we also want to move in as soon as possible and also don't want to move in somewhere that is, I don't know, like not groomed tidily, if that makes sense, because we had to pay six months up front. But in the end, is that even we said that we want we can pay six months up front, the landlord just has too many other options. They received several applications of the same flat and they got to choose who can rent it. So I guess like in a logical way, if I were the landlord, I would also pick someone who are both working. At least one of the you know of the person in the couple is working um, in the end so we didn't get both flat and we were pretty stressed about that and I got a job interview and it went really well after the interview I knew that she kind of decided to hire me already she just need to go through all the HR process several days later um, after the interview she called me back and said that I'm really sorry like the HR pulled back the employment so I was like, what What the heck, I, I was totally confused. I think she couldn't tell me the real re reason or, you know, I think maybe she doesn't know what's going on. Also, she just told me like, I'm really sorry. I don't know much about the details. It's just the HR in the morning suddenly called her and told her that there's no employment at the moment anymore. And that's it, literally just that's it. So I did call back to follow up to try to get a clear idea of what actually happened and why the employment didn't go through uh, the manager just keep t kept telling me that it's not my problem she, i was the only person that she wanted to hire 
but it's about the HR, about the company, nothing personal. So in the end, I didn't get a job also. And I was trying to find other jobs, but I think things there just don't work like London. It's pretty ridiculous, like this kind of thing happen. And, you know, in this kind of situation, this coronavirus is going on like crazy. So I guess a lot of employments have frozen, especially in smaller cities. They have smaller demand, smaller tourist flow. So yeah, so, so that's that. Like in job hunting wise and house hunting wise, we were totally desperate and we just feel like, okay, that is not a good situation and that is not the wisest decision to keep staying there, especially the coronavirus thing is, you know, happening and spreading faster. We need to secure a job before coronavirus stopped everything. So we um, came back to London and so quickly we just found a room to rent. We moved in here for 10 days already. I did a room tour thing first one we moved in and today I'm gonna update you a little bit more but first uh, I'd like to show you empty flat, empty room that um, right after we moved in. I think a lot of people might be um, interested in how much the room we rent is and what kind of zone here. So we are living in zone 2 which is pretty central, very good. It's pretty a uh, good commute to work. Uh, we have like a 24 hour supermarket. We have a lot of restaurants on the high street, gym nearby. So we are really, really happy about the location. 800 pounds a month for a couple, two people. Everything inclusive, which is a great deal. Like it's, it's a great deal. Um, council tax, water, electricity, gas, internet are uh, all included in the bills. As I said in my last vlog also, in London it's also couples are not easily accepted to rent a place and they usually rise the price quite high. Right before we viewed this one, we actually viewed another flat, it also a shared flat. Uh, we have a larger room that is 1100 pounds, 300 pounds difference. So we're pretty, I'm pretty happy that we found him. I believe he does also. Room is pretty small and we still need some storage boxes, storage units uh, in order to tidy up everything. But I will show you the room now, even though it's messy. I think you understand. So, this is the main door of the flat. When you come in, it's just a really long hallway. And this is our room. It is like a three bedroom. On the left first here, you can see the kitchen. It's a really small size. But what we love is the gas cooking and it's wash and dry. So even the flat is really small. Uh, we have the drying here, so that's good really really basic stuff so far we only got like this here this is what we bought yesterday for ourselves to food to cook in a really really basic pots and pans this is the fridge which is a little bit small for three rooms i mean because we are two people so it's for four people but yeah so far it's just us here make kimchi yesterday <laughs> if you walk down the hallway then it's a separate toilet really simple and clean which we like and on this side is the bathroom like pro and coin with a separate toilet bath when you want to go to the toilet when someone wants to go shower you can have it separately but in the toilet you don't have a sink so the sink is right here I did the first bath in the flat yesterday and this is so, so good. A lot of flats, they have like really low water pressure or the water is not hot enough, but here, pff, perfect. Funny thing is that the mirror cupboard is right here. And it's not right in the sink because there's a window here, but we were thinking, you know, if they could put it here, it would be so nice, at least when you open up the mirror you can still see yourself if you want to see yourself you have to come right here and <laughs> here to see yourself but yeah anyway now we are going to our bedroom 
Tan tan. So this is our bedroom. This is a mess here. I should have make the bed a little prettier. <laughs> okay better so when you come in on the left hand side it's just our double bed very clean right in front of you is a radiator and a tea table which is now a mess and we put all our shoes just right underneath there and here because we didn't have a shoe rack yet and here is a good size closet one of the good things of this room rather than the bigger room is that the closet is bigger so yesterday we bought hangers and we kind of like organize, not kind of, actually we did organize all our clothes in the closet, which is totally out of focus. But anyway, you see how it's like. We have the smallest window among the three bedrooms, so it's pretty dimmed, pretty dark in this room. That's the only thing that I really, really don't like. But yeah other than that it's, it's okay and then we have a little armchair right here and i really love this sign a chest of drawer on this side and a really good size mirror here that i probably can do like selfie and check my daily outfit drawers here but now it's totally a mess because i don't have any drawers organizer so the first drawer i have here is all my makeup skincare um, hair tools everything by the way i bought the ordinary glyconic acid 7% toning solution again because as we've been moving moving around not sleeping well um, my skin got really quite a lot of dead skin so i just restarted to use this and i also bought this the ordinary serum foundation 2.1 p i asked the staff there to choose um, the perfect color for me in the store we tried it um, on the side of my cheek which was a perfect match but then the other day when i came home i found out it's much darker than the center of my face which makes me look super 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 thick like very orangey so yeah probably i need to get uh, a lighter color than this one anyway i probably will order drawers organizer for this so and then i will show you later on once i organize and if you feel from the other angle it's like this no, for now um but i'm pretty happy that it's really clean you know everything tone on tone okay so that is the room situation that we just moved in and i did purchase some organizational things and i want to update you now, we have a half year contract but we pretty sure we're pretty sure that we are going to find somewhere else after half a year um, maybe a studio maybe a one bedroom by ourselves or maybe we're going to rent with friends um, because after we moved in we did find out quite a little bit full in this room and the main thing there's two main flaws that we don't like about this room is that there's no sunlight it, here in this like video um from the screen now i can see that is sunlight is all right but i'm sitting right in front of the window um but um, in the rest of the room it's very very dark and you will see in the clip that got my ikea parcel arrived so finally can organize here and here Trash. 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 Oh my god. Trash. It's so not environmental friendly. Trash. I'm gonna show you what I've got from IKEA. Got rubbish bean. It's always the rubbish bin that I've got whenever I need to buy rubbish bin because it's always the cheapest. Finally, I put this trash. It's done. What is this? It's heavier than I thought it would be. 
Why is it like this? No. We need a scorer. No. We don't have. The driver. I think you need to try it. Huh. This as for hanging behind the door. I didn't know it's gonna have to screw this out first and then put this like this then you can hang on the door. I will try to use the scissors. Doesn't work. I'm gonna move on to the next one then. And I got three of this. So it is the drawer divider. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six different little boxes so I can put in the chest of drawer there so I can finally organize all this stuff. And the last thing that I've got is dun -dun. It's a chest of drawer. And I've been using this chest of drawer for I don't know how many of these I bought. I have this one in Hong Kong, I had this one when I first moved to London. I bought several times this one because it's cheap and it's super super practical. I know this one it doesn't need a scroll to install though. So let's start installing this one. And this one I'm gonna put in the closet so I can put all the stuff in the table here and just put it inside the closet so the table will be finally clean to use. I need a driver on this one also. So it turns out that I remembered it wrongly. So the drawer actually need a screw driver. So the only solution is to go and buy a screwdriver but for now i will build the drawer first I didn't shoot until the end of the whole making of the IKEA stuff because it was too dark to even try to record anything and the room is so small and I just wanted to tackle a thing, assemble a thing, put the boxes away and that's that. But this is days later than the assembling days and um, I've got things organized so I would like to show you uh, the update about that. So this is where I am sitting now. So it's actually just right in front of the window. I really love this view here. I actually do enjoy this thick flower that originally come in the room with the wood mirror. And I put away most of the things on the um, shelf. As you can see from the last clip, it was totally messy all over there. And then I've organized. Ta -ta all my skincare, makeup, hair straightener, hair accessories, all the things. So I purchased three packs of um, the organizer. We have three drawers over here. I just put out the smaller boxes, these square boxes and these rectangular boxes on the top drawer, which is perfect for organizing makeup and stuff. Here at this corner is all about foundation, blush, powder, uh, all the base product. Here I've got the eyelash lift pack, beauty blender brush, and here is all the loose products. Over here is my skincare. Here I've got all the cables and charging, and here is like contact lines that I don't get to reach all the time. Are all over there second drawer is not mine so I'm not going to show you and the last drawer is just bras undies you know just got the 
bigger organizer to put, you know, stockings, pajama, um, socks, things like that. The other thing I bought on that day is this hanger right over here. And then as the little drawer units that I assembled. So I put all the paper things, letters at the bottom at the moment, the um, extra bed linens, and on top is some emergency stuff, first aid stuff, um, medicine, things like that. Um, it's just a really good way when you have some extra space below all the hanging clothes. So yeah, so that is the update of all the organization thing and the update of the room <laughs> it's really an update but i don't think i'm going to decorate this room much at the moment as i said that we probably will look for in other place after we stabilize our life here um recently things are going a little better but we still have some worry and concern because um i know i i know i talked about coronavirus 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 like hundred times in this video but we do are a little concerned that if it's gonna spread in the UK um, like the situation in Italy if cities are blocked then there will be literally no new employment opportunities I know that some of the brands some of the companies already freeze the employment they are want to see how this virus is going because otherwise you hire a new person and then the city is going to shut down then that's no point but hopefully it's not going to be as bad as italy so um yeah but that's that um i guess that's all for today um i'm not sure if this will be the end of the moving vlog series because we literally just finished moving <laughs> um we're just tackling all the you know employment lifestyle stuff if you would like to know you know more life update here in the uk or like employment situation let me know down in the comment so that i know you would like to watch then i can do another video about updating that otherwise it might be the last episode of this moving vlog series for now um thank you very much for coming along this journey of me us moving around stress express my um emotion no but um i also hope that it help in some way if you are looking to move to somewhere um that is really a lot of stress moving around and that is really a lot of details that you don't really think that would be that annoying um but after all you know after the settling down everything is good um, and I hope that we are going to go back on track as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, give blah, blah, blah. if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.